When we look at the globe, we will find Nepal as a small kingdom that is located between China and India in Asia. Although Nepal is very small in its size, it is considered to be extremely rich in its natural beauty, art and culture. Its superb artifacts and natural resources fascinate everybody. Kathmandu Valley is a treasure of architectural and artistic resources. We can see various monumental artifacts that have been preserved from the time immemorial. Moreover, Lalitpur, the second metropolitan city, boasts more of such heritage. The sub-metropolitan city Lalitpur, which is renowned as the repository of art and culture, is situated south of the Kathmandu Valley, the capital. The design of this city is modeled upon Tharma Chakra. Lalitpur is also known as Yena, Patan, Hupagram and so on and has been an illustrious city since the ancient times. Lalitpur is so called because it excels in beauty and its indigenous culture. When we analyze the meaning, we will come to know that Lalita means beautiful, incomparable, and lovely, whereas Pur refers to the city. Therefore, as this is the city of an excellent beauty, it has got its name Lalitpur. Lalitpur, an ancient city of the Kathmandu Valley, is estimated to be over 2,000 years old. Here we can see many artifacts that date back to Kirati, 3rd century BC, Nisavi, 4th to 8th century. The inhabitants feel that as culture and art are the glory of our nation, they ought to be preserved and safeguarded. Even if Lalitpur city is a historical place which abounds with innumerable physical resources, it is sad to say that these resources are on the miserable state. It has to face many problems and challenges. Renovating and rehabilitating its historical physical resources 
cleaning environment and providing for water, sewerage and roads are among its challenges or problems. Lalitpur has rich resources of the cultural heritage. Here different customary practices, trusts and rituals that have been operated since the ancient times are kept alive and vibrant. It is a customary to begin any auspicious work with the rituals and recitations in accordance with the dharma. Since both Hindu and Buddhists live here amicably. Many monuments associated with Buddhism and Hinduism are found to have been constructed. In Lalitpur, there are numerous houses, potricos, temples, beaches, wells, stone fountains, sivalingas, embellished with superb architecture. Similarly, there are more than 265 Bihars, branch Bihars, and Bahis with numerous Vaikas, Stupas, Tarmadatus, and deities associated with them. For the students of ethnography, Lalitpur is a living museum. Additionally, it has world-renowned Golden Temple and orders like Akshesur Mahabir, Rudrabarna Mahabir, Esodra Mahabir, and so forth.
intricate embroidery, wood carving, metal and stone sculpture enchant everybody who visits here. From this, Lalitpur Darbar Square has been enlisted as the World Heritage Site and temples, porticos, junctions and fountains around it are worth seeing. A great holy site for all Hindus also lies in this area where King of Nepal pay visit every year. This city is surrounded on its four cardinal directions by Asokan Buddhist stupas which dates back to 3rd century BC, thereby gaining a status of Buddhist city. The inhabitants of Lalitpur city observe different festivals peculiar to their respective religions that have been handed down since generations. These Karang festivals are celebrated from the beginning of the new year. The Newar ethnic group celebrates particular type of festivals in Tihar. In addition, there is a unique chariot festival of Bungadeva in Lalitpur. The local people draw the chariot of Kadunabai and Mimnat through the scheduled spots in the main city area. And the festival concludes in the Jaulakir, where Nepalese king pays a final homage to Lord Kadunabai, Kumari and the Mimnat on the final day amidst the large crowds. In a similar manner, there are also other festivals celebrated in Nepal. These include Triple Blessed Day of Lord Buddha's Birth, Enlightenment and Parinirvana Day. Mula festival is one of unique traditions of Newar Buddhists, which are observed throughout Kathmandu Valley. In this festival, offerings to Buddhas, Bodhisattvas and Saites are made. 
exhibition of Buddhist sculptures, painting and sculptures and are displayed. Matya Lamp Procession, Prasandra Worship, Kumbeshwar Fair, Pinsen Jatra, Krishna Puja, etc. are unique festivals of Lalitpur worth observing. Summit festival is organized with great pomp and splendor once every five years. Newar ethnic group predominates in Lalitpur where more than 200,000 people of them live. Lalitpur not only abounds with various world famous woodcrafts, metal and stone sculptures, but also it takes pride in having renowned architects, artists who can keep them intact and alive. The inhabitants of Lalitpur feel proud of their own religion, culture and dresses. They are humble, cheerful and peace-loving by nature. Let's have a close look at this peaceful and quite pleasant Lalitpur city, which is a provenance of art and culture, and is dignified by presence of an industrial east and a Jew, the only one Jew of Nepal. Everybody will definitely enjoy visiting this place. 